Good afternoon, everyone, from wherever you are watching us from here on Y254. It is the touchline. I am Robert Osoro. Big week on everything that has been happening. One of the biggest stories that is happening all over the world is that Manchester City has been banned for two years from playing in the UEFA Champions League. But today, it is a special day here on the Touchland because we are here to talk with someone who is very interested with the East African Corporation and some of the people who are heading to the Olympics. Where are you watching us from here on Y254? It is the Touchland. You can also get in touch with us on social media at Y254 channel, hashtag Touchland Y254. That's where you'll be getting everything when it comes to the world of sport. Joining me here today, it is we are doing the show in a different style because we have a guest here from the East African community. He's traveling after the show to Burundi, but he made a courtesy call for us here to come and tell us about the East African community and the Tokyo Olympics 2020. We have also my co-host, who was supposed to be actually at the cross country at Ngong Race Course, but he's here also, Maxwell Westick. How are you doing, my brother? I'm all right, man. Why are you disclosing unnecessary details? Which one? What is unnecessary? <laughs> <laughs> Going to the race course. Uh, anyway, I was supposed to be attending cross country championships happening right now. Mm -hmm. The Ngong Race Course, you know, Kenya is seeking to select a team that will represent the country during African championships, later for a few months from now as we speak, but of course we're getting represented by equally unable team down yes. there, we shall be keeping us posted with regards to what is happening. Ellen Obiri, unfortunately, not, not uh, taking not part, in, yes. but probably going by her recent heroic exploits, she will be given a wild, it's called? A wild card. A wild card yes. by Athletics Kenya so that she can represent the country. But equally, of course, good to have uh, Ronex, big man here. The last time us guys met was a few years down the line. It was in ah. 2017. So we've been telling each other how we look different and unfamiliar. <laughs> he says we have grown fat and bulky. You see, Fred Openda, the problem with this man, he keeps uh, telling... Uh, Things that are not supposed to be told. Unnecessary. <laughs> Unnecessary. <laughs> For the very first time on the touchline here, we have got Kisembo Ron Extendo all the way from the Pearl of Uganda. Sebo, Oliote. Ndibolonje. Oliote, Sebo. Ndibolonje, Sebo. Jevali. <laughs> you see, there, there, is, there is no way you guys will exclude me from the conversation because I think Osoro can't go beyond two Ugandan places. Manyu Luganda, Sebo. Okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Ron Extendo from the East African community is actually the CEO Group Africa Mashariki First. He's here from Kampala, Uganda. Ron Extendo, welcome to the touchline here on Y254. How is Kenya taking you so far since you arrived? Uh, first of all, I want to thank you so much for having me. It's been a, on a short notice, but mm. it's always a, a good experience wherever yes. I'm in Kenya to have an opportunity to come to KBC. The big network. Yes. And now that uh, it's my first time to appear on Y254, mm. thank you so much for having me. On the whole, mm. I've been here for the past two days mm -hmm. and I'm leaving this evening. Mm. Uh, I'm heading to Burundi. Yeah. But I thank God for everything that I've been, I've been able to work on from the time I arrived up to now. Yeah. Though by the time I arrived, a lot was happening. The barrier of Mzemoy um, and yes. other things were happening in the country, so most of what I had come to do in a way got interrupted. The, 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 the big question is that you are here working on a delegation that is supposed to head for the Tokyo Olympics 2020 in mm -hmm. Japan that is come actually August. What is that all about? Just give us a brief overview of what is that all about. Um, thank you so much. Uh, what happens um, when the time for Olympics, World uh, Championships, and other international uh, platforms where countries send their respective teams yes. go to participate. For us, as Africa Masharik Fest, yeah. we are a regional youth platform that believes in the integration of our region. Yes. And we believe that sport is the language that can easily be understood through which we can, as a platform, through which we can pass our message to the public. Yes. So, um, taking you a little bit back in 2016, yeah. uh, we got an idea that yeah. Uganda is sending a team to the Rio Olympics. Then yes. yes. Kenya is sending a team. Every country sends a team mm -hmm. to the Olympics. But then, where do we leave the region? 
as, as the East, East Africa. African region. Yes. yes. So I got an idea that I shared with the leadership across the community. Mm -hmm. They embraced the idea and I want to use this opportunity in a very special way mm -hmm. to thank His Excellency President William Seven, yes. who quickly understood uh, the concept that I tabled before him yes. that um, we needed to go to Brazil not, not carrying the Ugandan flag. The team Uganda had been handed the, the Ugandan flag. Team Kenya had the Kenyan, the Kenyan flag. flag yes. But we believe we need to go out there and showcase East Africa as a region. Yes. The anthem for the community says, Umojawetu, Ndiyonguvietu. So when we go out there, yeah. we as Africa Masharik first, we carry the East African flag. Yes. We have people from Uganda, from Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, and South Sudan. It's a big region. Yes, yes. Big region. So we select on a number of people based yeah. on the logistical challenges, yes. certainly. Mm -hmm. But we reach out to the corporate uh, entities, government ministries to be able to support us. Uh, I will give a quick example. When we were in Rio in 2016, when uh, Eliud Kipchoge managed to take the gold in yes. the marathon mm -hmm. run, mm -hmm. you realize that previously it was Stephen Kiprotich, a, yes. a Ugandan, who yes. was the reigning champ Olympic yes. champion. Yes. And when we went that morning, mm -hmm. both were in the race. Mm -hmm. I had chance to interact with them when we were in the Olympic village, yeah. encouraging them, sharing as friends, because out there we got to compete. Hmm. Yes, as part as individual countries, yes, yeah. but again, the bigger image of East Africa, that yeah. spirit of being an East African, yes, comes into play. Mm -hmm. And I stay I stand here to bear witness that uh, when Eliud Kipchoge emerged the winner, yeah, I joined him in when he was addressing the press, and then we had the East African flag. It was the East African community celebrating, yes. not Kenya, not Uganda, not. Tanzania, it was East Africa celebrating. The primary celebration would go to Kipchoge as the champion. Yes. Kenya yes. as the country where he comes from. Mm -hmm. But the, uh, the, the ultimate goal here, the celebration should be embraced by the region and the continent at large. Yeah. Because let's look at it from the tourism perspective. Uh -huh. All people who come to Kenya, yeah. when Kipchoge went and ran a sub two, uh -huh. people will ask, who is this guy? Where does he come from? What, what happens there? What is the climate like? Mm -hmm. What do these people eat? Mm -hmm. So all this will force them to come to Kenya. Yes. And that's now tourism. And when they land here, they get to here after seeing all the tourism potential in Kenya, mm -hmm. then they get the opportunity to hear that hey, there is River Nile yes. in Uganda. We have Lake Victoria. We have Mount mm -hmm. Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. We have, you know, Renzori in Mount Uganda. Denver. We have this. Mm -hmm. So they end up now visiting the entire region. Mm. And with the existence of a single tourism visa, yes. where Uganda, Kenya, and Rwanda are, have already endorsed it. You see, you don't need to, to come and land in Nairobi. Uh -huh. When you go to Uganda, you must pay. You pay once. Yeah. So you choose to go to Uganda, you mm. have access. Mm -hmm. Each country well, electronically will get its portion yes. of the money the tourist has paid. Mm. So we believe as Africa Mashariki, mm. as young people in the region, that yeah we are better off as a family. Yes. So a win by Edna Kiplagat, a win mm. by Wilson Kipsang, mm. a win by Camorol. All of us have been to Berlin, we've mm. been to London, we've been to all these international platforms where they go to race. Yes. We carry the flag of East Africa mm -hmm. so that we can encourage them. Yeah. When Kipchoge is running, we are there to support. Mm -hmm. When a, a Tanzanian is in the ring boxing, we are there to, support. to cheer them. Oh, but what Ronex is trying to listen with is that, you know, in Buana Samata, the Tanzanian hot shot signed for English Premier League side yeah. Aston Villa. We saw Kenyans yeah. trying to claim ownership <laughs> of him saying that our very own 27-year-old yeah. has signed for Aston Villa. Mm. So I think it's about East African solidarity, cooperation, yes. stability. But you know for someone who is watching, he might get confused in between. Mm. You see, as you head to Tokyo for Olympics, which is slated for July, August, yes. what will you be? pushing what will you be advocating for is it and showcasing because east africa is known for you know a myriad of uh, plenty of you know potentialities economic stability sports growth so what will it that you will be trying to depict to the entire world what we are well known for our tourism potential as a region yes that is key 
Yes, we are known as mm -hmm. Kenya as a powerhouse. Yeah. Uganda, of least we are also coming up. Yeah. Ethiopia here. Mm -hmm. Eritrea. These other countries are known for the marathoners. Yes. Of course, but we look at now the tourism aspect. Yeah. Which sports and tourism. Sports and tourism. Yeah. And in this during the Tokyo Olympics, as far as our organization is concerned, yeah. we are focusing on um, looking at Miss Tourism Kenya because we want to be in a position to carry to everybody to Tokyo. Mm -hmm. We also have challenges when it comes yes. to logistics, yeah. but at least we look forward to working with Miss Tourism Kenya, mm -hmm. Miss Tourism Uganda, yeah. Miss Tanzania, mm -hmm. Miss Rwanda, Miss Burundi, and South Sudan. Yeah. So, this beauty, we've designed some tourism promotional materials that we are going to use these beauty queens to be yeah. giving them out as souvenirs yes. to the team managers, to the players, mm -hmm. to all the spectators who will show up in Tokyo for the Olympics. Yeah. I'll give an example of this wristband. Uh -huh. If uh, this can be viewed here properly, this wristband I, I think is... Um, the, camera can get the cameraman can try to capture this. Yeah. We haven't officially launched it, yeah. but it's a wristband which is 16 GB that we are going... I've, we've made this in China, and we are going to have all the footage from the tourism ministry in Kenya, mm -hmm. in Tanzania, all the partner states. Yes. Give us their specific footage, mm -hmm. save it here, like for 6 GB. Then we give them out. The user will have 10 GB for himself to use. But and you, you can imagine everybody having a wristband like this, yeah. which talks of visit Kenya, visit Uganda, visit Tanzania. Uh, and then the, the other objective is to cheer our teams. Yeah. When we went for the Paralympics in Tokyo, sorry, in uh, Rio, yeah. Uganda had only one representative. And I took it upon myself to request a team Kenya yeah. um, uh, to help us. The president of the Paralympics here in Kenya is a very good friend of mine. Uh, she helped me out to be able to bring one athlete that Uganda had as a Paralympian in the in the Paralympics. Oh, he came and joined. Joined. So we could wake up in the morning, yeah. join some of the team Kenya to go for training. Yes. Because this was not about Kenya competing against Uganda. Yeah. It's an international platform. Yes. But you have only one member from Uganda, yeah. isolated in the Olympic village. Yes. How do we help this guy join the others to gain morale, mm -hmm. cheer him on? And he ended up getting a silver medal yeah. for the first time for Uganda to have a Paralympic silver, silver medal, medal in our history. Yeah. So it's all about embracing the community, that spirit of regional integration. Yeah. We belong to a greater community. What, what many people in this generation of ours, actually in this, let's say, channel of ours at Y254, we are young, we are young channel and everything is, mm -hmm. they don't realize the impact of the East African community. Even the former president, the retired president, Daniel, the late Daniel Torotecha Rap Moy, who has been a chairman of the East African community, Benjamin Kappa, who was also the chairman, the mm. late Julius Nyerere, also mm. Milton Obote. These were some of the founders, Jomo Kenza, some of the founders of the East African community. They don't realize how big the East African community is, really. It's an unfortunate thing but again, we need to thank our leaders. Yeah. The founding fathers, as you mm. mentioned them, yeah. uh, Mze Kenyatta, mm. Dr. Obote, and mm. Mwalimu Nyelene. Yes. Immediately after this, our region mm. uh, getting independent, when Kenya got independence, Uganda mm. and Tanzania, yeah. these guys would have decided to remain isolated and feeling big in their own small countries. Yes. But they just saw the bigger image of uniting to form a block. Mm. And that is something we needed to really salute them for. Yeah. Down 10 years down the road, something happened, of course, in misunderstanding there and there, and the community uh, fell apart. Yes. But again, we thank the leadership of President Museveni, mm -hmm. the late Mali um, uh, Arab Moy, yeah. together with Benjamin Mkapa, who saw that, mm, wait a minute, yeah. the previous founding fathers had a reason. Yes. So we better revive the community. Uh -huh. So when the East African community was revived, for us who have at least experienced the benefit the benefits are enormous, really. Yes. When you are in Kenya, you are home. Uh -huh. I'm here now yes. at, on this platform. If we are to remain as isolated small countries, we can't move. You know, you know what is funny? I was in Uganda for six years. Took my okay. high school all the way in Uganda. Senior one, senior six, I did it in Uganda. Yeah, and I met actually Museven one of those times. I met him twice actually. You know, it was very good to Kenyans and saying, 
awa no vijana wetu and yeah. the beauty is with integration now we don't have students in, from Kenya paying in dollars uh -huh. these yes. things have been mm. harmonized yes ukiwa mkenya ukiwa yeah. mtanzania whether you are mnyarwanda ukiwa yeah. uganda ama ukiwa kenya unalipa pesa zile pesa ambazo zinatumika kwa hiyo nchi yeah even no passport these days just your you ID, ID and you pass on. all through the way what you people have studied here, you finish, mm. we have a challenge as young people. Youth mm. unemployment is a global phenomenon, you know? Yes. But at least with open borders, ukiwa mm. na specific skills that you can, for example, you guys were in the media, yeah. you can have the opportunity to cross to Uganda, to go to Tanzania, to go mm. to Burundi, apply for a job, yes. work and settle there. Mm. Go ahead and marry in case you so wish. My brother here said it was Valentine. <laughs> Valentine. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. I don't stop know. Any <laughs> Let's yeah. keep it sporty. So, <laughs> no, so I think, I think, I think what, 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 what you are trying to say is, is very true. It's a noble initiative you are pushing. Very brilliant idea. But now, has it been embraced by, you know, the East African uh, member countries, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania? know when that initiative such initiative arises mm -hmm. in as much as uh, people might embrace it but there are a few challenges here and there has it been like since you pioneered the idea um, well the journey hasn't been a, a smooth one a number of challenges yes. here and there mm -hmm. but officially we launched this platform mm -hmm. on the 8th of October uh, 2014 Mm -hmm. And we are privileged to have Wilson Kipsang, uh -huh, Edna yes. Kiplagat, yes. Ezekiel Kemboy, mm -hmm. uh, Ki Kirui. They came Amen. all the way. Kirui. Yes. Kirui. And um, mm -hmm. which other guy? They, they came all the way to Uganda. Mm -hmm. We converged at Mandela National Stadium. That's yes. Nambole. Nambole. We officially launched yes. this platform as a youth organization. Yeah. We aren't into politics of any sort, mm -hmm. but we believe the power of sport. Yeah. to unite us as East Africans. I, I've got this question burning in my head so far. Is the headquarters of the East African community Iala, I, in Arusha, Tanzania, have you approached them? Uh, have, have you talked to them? What have they told you? What, what is the process in getting them in on board? Uh, well, Africa Masharik first as yeah. a regional body. Yeah. We are affiliated to the East African community. Yes. We are working closely with the Secretariat, mm -hmm. the Secretary General, the Speaker of Parliament, of uh -huh. the East African Parliament. Yes. But as you know, uh, most of these organizations, when it comes to the question of funding, uh, yes. because we, we operate on no budget, yeah. but again, we believe and want to thank the corporate world in the region. Yeah. When we were here in Kenya, corporate companies came up to understand us. We presented yeah. our concept to them. Yeah. And they, were, they came and embraced us when we had the first run in Mombasa yes. in 2016. Yeah. So we've largely been surviving on support from the corporate world, mm -hmm. but with endorsement yeah. from the East African the community, East African community in Arusha. Yeah. And as a pioneer, um, last year in June on mm -hmm. Heroes Day in Uganda, yeah. I was... I and the team we were officially recognized by His Excellency the President. Yeah. And on Heroes Day, I personally received a state recognition where I got a medal yeah. for championing this initiative. The same has happened in Burundi. Yeah. And uh, we are working closely with Miss Tourism Kenya here. Yeah. She's our ambassador, a tourism ambassador. If you know Wendy Bella. Omolo, yeah. she was yeah. Miss Tourism Kenya 2016-2017. Yes. We've been working with her, we've gone the region around, mm. and then she will lead the team Kenya that will be going go, to the go Tokyo. Go. Now, away mm. from East Africa Mashariki first, now let's talk about our rival, you know. Kenya is bad. Robert, just, just before we get into our rival, <laughs> 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 Just before we get into our rivalry, you know, in Kenya and Uganda are about to lock horns against each other, football wise, because I think that's the recognized sports discipline in East Africa. Yes. You know, there is uh, much, you know, anxiety. Uh, people are very much excited, looking forward to the. Uh, big game, but just before that, I saw you. I've been following you on your social media handles, and I saw you on Twitter in a battalion of, you know, armed officers. <laughs> and uh, I think that tells of how your event has been, your initiative has been sanctioned, approved, endorsed by the authorities mm -hmm. in Uganda. Now, in terms of spreading your wings a little bit further, you know, East African uh, community is a sober, brilliant idea. But I'm also looking forward to ensure that now the continent 
uh, emulate on what you are doing so that we can have an initiative that is you know trying to involve the entire african countries to push for tourism sports stability and so on and so forth to the outside world thank you um i need to state right here that um, africa mashariki fest our organization yes has been lucky that we've got the endorsement from the leadership of the yeah. six partner states uh -huh. yes. um, that is number one yeah uh, number two for regional integration mm -hmm. we need to be mindful that we can't unite at once uh -huh. it's, it's a process time. yes so that's why we have regional blocks mm -hmm. you see we have the east african community yeah uh, those are the six countries mm -hmm. we recently got an uh, application as a community mm -hmm. yes. from drc congo uh -huh. ethiopia djibouti and somalia and they want to join want the to Masharike join. fest yeah and yeah. i also last year got the opportunity to fly to mogadishu mm -hmm. to go and meet the president yeah. uh, his excellence famajo to find out yeah. Why is the Somalia interested in joining the community and what do they bring on board in terms of sports, yeah. tourism and all that? But, yeah. uh, you see, East Africa as a region needs to first uh, consolidate what we have. Then we look at SADAC, those yes. countries in the southern uh, part of Africa. They're also doing their bit. They have their own. Yes. Then we have ECOWAS in yes. North Africa. Yes. They also, sorry, West Africa. West Africa They're also so. doing their own. Then it is easier to bring blocks together yeah. than saying let all the 55 yeah. countries yeah. wake up and Form say we are united yeah. we need to have a single currency as east africa sadaka they get their own currency as southern africa yeah. the echo in west africa then they later yeah. we can now at this level yeah merge and then we can have a single currency i for remember africa. one of africa's greatest leaders muammar gaddafi who is envious of the african community also stated that at one point and it's really great that a young mind is also following in those footsteps time is not on our side sure. Ronex, but i'd like to give you an opportunity to tell the viewers how can they get in touch with you <coughs> thank you so much um we as Africa Mashariki Fest are uh, focusing ourselves on to the Tokyo 2020 Olympics yeah. and we are interested in going there to showcase East Africa as a region. Yes. As I earlier stated, partner states of East Africa will send their respective teams, mm -hmm. granted. Yes. But for us now who believe in our integration of East Africa, we want to go there as a team, yeah. non-partisan, to mm -hmm. showcase our region's tourism potential, yeah. be able to cheer and support the various teams that will be playing in during different days. Yeah. And um, for Kenya, we will have three representatives. Per partner states, we've chosen mm. three. Yeah. Those three from Kenya, we haven't decided on them, with the exception of one, Wendy Bella Omolo, Miss Tourism Kenya, 2016-2017, mm. yes. who is our tourism ambassador. Mm -hmm. She gets an automatic So the other, ticket. the other two slots are up for grabs, which They're is myself grabs. and Osoro we can contest. Are we eligible? <laughs> are you are eligible. Place? We need young people. Uh, <laughs> What's the procedure like? Uh, basically, we will come back if given the opportunity mm -hmm. and um, have like a press conference and uh, let the, the people of Kenya know yes. why we are here and what we intend to do mm -hmm. and how we need to work closely with Athletics Kenya mm -hmm. and uh, my friend Paul Teregat of, at NOC yes. to see that when we go there, these people need to be accredited, first of all, yeah. uh, to be able to access the Olympic and village. They, they have to get the blessings of National Olympic Committee of Correct. Correct. Yes. Because it is the body that is overseeing the operations. All NOC bodies in the partner states, yes. Yes. we are in touch with them to see that these people who are going to, to join our team yes. will be accredited for easy access mm -hmm. the other side. And then we want also to closely work with the tourism in ministry here. Because uh -huh. all that we are going to showcase on the side of Kenya mm -hmm. will be provided by the Ministry of Tourism. Yes, in Kenya. In Kenya. Yeah. Then they can decide on what to yeah. to, to give us uh, yeah. that we should go and showcase the other side. When I appreciate you coming here on board, Kisembo Ronex Tendo, who is the CEO of Africa Mashariki Fest, and you have heard it here on the touchline. It's all about the Tokyo Olympics 2020 in Japan. And the East African community is ready for that. If you are not joining this conversation, it is at Y254 channel. For now, let's enjoy the highlights of yesterday's Super Cup final in Abu Dhabi. It was Zamalek beating ES Tunis by three goals to one.